Massive Trump Beach Rally in Deep Blue, New Jersey draws stark contrast to Biden's beach weekend, Biden could never. Critics of President Biden are lambasting his beach vacation in Delaware, while contrasting the Mother's Day weekend getaway to former President Trump's massive rally in the historically blue state of New Jersey on Saturday. Supporters camped out overnight at the beach for a Trump rally that starts at 5 p.m. today in Wildwood. Joe Biden can't fill up a broom closet without staff, media, and angry protesters, one ex-user under the name Bad Ombre posted Saturday. Trump held a beachside rally in Wildwood, New Jersey, on Saturday evening, where at least 80,000, and up to 100,000 supporters, joined the 45th president in the historically deep blue state. Simultaneously, 24 miles across Delaware Bay, Biden arrived at his home in Rehoboth Beach for Mother S Day. Biden's trip followed a fundraising event in Seattle, where he was greeted by local leaders such as Democratic Governor Jay Inslee and Representative Pramila J. Apple, D. Wash, as well as a group of left-wing, anti-Israel protesters holding signs reading Traitor Genocide Joe Free Palestine and Genocide Joe Must Go, the Seattle Times reported. Trump supporters flocked to massive New Jersey campaign rally to hear former president speak amid ongoing trials. As of last fall, Biden was on course to spend about 40% of his presidency on vacation, compared to Trump reportedly spending 26% of his time outside Washington, D.C., when he was in office, and President Barack Obama's reported 11% of vacation time, the New York Post previously reported. Social media commenters jumped at comparing Trump's massive rally on the Jersey Shore to Biden spending the weekend at his Delaware beach house. Crooked Joe Biden will soon head to his beach house for a weekend of rest. Sad. RNC research posted on X in response to a video showing the massive crowds at the South Jersey Beach. North Dakota Gov. Former presidential candidate Doug Burgum front and center at Trump New Jersey rally. The crowd in Wildwood, New Jersey keeps growing. People have been camped out and even slept on the beach. Trump is not set to speak until 5 p.m. EST today. No one would camp out to meet Biden, X account The Political Palm posted. Trump denies report claiming Nikki Haley is under consideration for VP role, I wish her well. Meanwhile Biden goes on vacation to the beach in Delaware and not a single person is there to rally for him, another X account posted, alongside video of crowds lining the streets in anticipation of Trump. Crooked Joe Biden could never, the Trump war room posted, alongside beach footage showing the massive crowd. Trump supporters flocked to massive New Jersey campaign rally to hear former president speak amid ongoing trials. Biden ignores questions as he wraps up a day of fundraising and heads to the beach for a weekend of rest, RNC Research posted. Another X account posed a question for a poll asking, 80,000 people attended a Trump rally in Wildwood, New Jersey. Could Biden ever get this many people to a rally? 50 Cent rips Biden for Delaware beach trip amid Israel-Hamas war, we got some real s going on. Fox News Digital spoke on Saturday to Trump rally attendees, who described happily waiting on the beach for the former president and added they foresee big Trump wins in November. I think this country needs to change although, we already know what Trump's all about, one supporter who identified himself as Carlos said. So, that change is just going to come right back to us because that's what we need. We need Trump because I don't think Biden is just getting the job done right now. Some of it's his fault. Some of it is probably the people around him. But I think we need Trump back to get this country back to where it needs to be. When asked about Trump's prospects in November, Carlos pointed to the large crowd and said, take a look. There's probably about six to 7,000 people waiting in line and probably more. The line goes all the way back to the entrance. So, you're looking at 35 to 40,000 people at this venue right now, he said, 
noting that some people had been waiting since Thursday for the venue to open. An attendee named Lisa, who traveled from West Chester County, New York, described herself as a convert supporter of Trump despite having come from a long line of liberals in her family. Biden blasts house for two-week vacation despite facing criticism for his frequent beach trips. It's just like, something overnight shifted in the culture that I didn't realize, she said. I was taking stuff at face value and the minute the walls came crumbling down, I just started going deep into everything. Trump was joined by New Jersey Republican Rep. Jeff Van Drew, who also left the Democratic Party under the Trump administration for the GOP. He described the Wildwood event as historical for the Garden State. This has got to be the biggest political rally in the history of New Jersey, Van Drew told the crowd. A common theme amid the lengthy rally, which wrapped up around 8 p.m., was the argument that Trump will win the historically deep blue state come November. We're going to win New Jersey, the GOP frontrunner told the crowd to exuberant cheers. Mike Huckabee, the only time Biden is winning is on the beach or in his basement. As you can see today, we're expanding the electoral map because, we're going to win the state of New Jersey, Trump said. I think we're going to win them all. All across America, millions of people, so-called blue states, are joining our movement based on love, intelligence, and a thing called common sense. In addition to New Jerseyans, the rally also drew a large crowd from the key battleground state of Pennsylvania, as well as attendees from deep blue New York and elsewhere. Trump focused on the economy and inflation through much of the event highlighting that everything from hot dogs to chicken and gasoline had shot up in prices under the Biden administration. The Biden price hikes are continuing to drain over 1,000 from the typical New Jersey family budget every single month, Trump said.